Gauges are a really useful aspect of the SCAL calibration software. It allows you to view the parameters in a much easier format than just say viewing them in the column on the right hand side. It allows you to also customize these, set alarm on them, resize them and make them now able to have multiple parameters inside of say a trace which is really useful for going back uh, over data without having to go and use the data analysis S view. So first of all, let's have a look at the different types of gauges that are available to the users on the default format. So what you've got, when you go to gauge and then add, and I'm just going to choose any parameter at the moment, air charge temp, you can see that you've got six different display types, text, bar, thermometer, half moon, trace and LED. And these are actually shown at the bottom here. So text, then you've got your bar, you've got your thermometer, you've got the half moon effect, you've got the trace and the LED. All of these are useful for different um, applications like parameters so to speak. So for example you might want to view your your temperature based in a thermometer based uh, scenario so it's easier to see straight away on the eye down okay that's a thermometer I know that's temperature related. The LED might be useful for say if it's an output say if it's the air con control and you wanted to see when that that item changes and goes to on it's very easy to see that the solid item is variable is present in which case we know it's on. Other items like traces might be useful for when you're viewing something like RPM because you can see the pattern in which it, it is displayed over a time. So each one of those can be made and set up to suit. Now what you can also do, you can change the units. So every person around the world uses different units that they're used to. In England, for example, most people use Celsius, but in America they use Fahrenheit. So again, you can right click on those and then click on change units to suit. The same would be present for, like, say, the, the voltage. You can go to change units on that, and it will allow you to choose millivolts and volts. Because the, the gauge knows the parameters which is loaded in there, it will know the different types of units which can be used and display them available to you. Now, other things you can do, if you simply just want to view some of the items on the right-hand side quickly, you can also just double-click on those. So just double-click on, e, like, say, ECT. It will bring up a, a text gauge of that, and then I can easily then change this type to a thermometer and put it as a normal size say and then I've got that uh, variable there. Now another thing that's really useful is you can set alarms on these so you can right click on it and go change alarm and you can set a min and max so that these variables will then change color to red to warn you that something is not right and I can easily show that now so if I just go to RPM double click on it and create just a simple text by just double clicking on it then go to change alarm and just set the max to say 5000. As I bring the RPM up, now you can see it changes to red and flashing because that is described as the, the like it's gone into an alarm state, it's gone above the max warning point. So that's a really useful thing to have on say some temperature variables. And once you change those and, and, and basically save those states, you can actually save these gauge layouts then into a layout. So you can go save layout and what that will do is it will save basically to the state that which you left it on the screen uh, and come back to it again next time. So for example my tuning one I can go onto here and I can see that already I have an alarm set on my uh, ECT engine coolant temp so if it's over 95 it's flashing red. I have a logging active one which is just an LED type and not really interested in to know as a trace whether the logging is active or not, just a simple on off is will suffice. And then once you've set those, really useful, you can obviously then go and set them as a default layout. So the default layout type is here under D, you can choose then the variable, the, the, the gauge layout sorry, when you connect to the ECU instantly those gauges will be displayed. Now the default software does come with some of these already preset, uh, I've obviously made my own ones, but a really useful feature that you can do now is you can add multiple items into a trace. You can also add maths, so if you've got say for example uh, you wanting to add say 20C onto all of your air charge temp for example, you could add a new math and then create this as saying Let's just say ACT plus 20. In here, in the expression, you would then just write in air charge temp, so ACT1, and then you could put in here plus 20. And then you can choose your units here to be temperature, 
Celsius, maximum range, and then go add. And then what it's done is instantly it's created a math gauge, which is basically taking my ACT and plus 20 to it. And there's lots of cool things you can do with that. Uh, the, the Under the, the math, you can actually see all the different types of functions you can do. And if you actually highlight over them, it actually describes what each one of those are. So they're really useful to be able to create some really nice custom gauge setups. Now, let's go to something that a lot of people have wanted for a long time and that is the ability to have a trace at the bottom which allows you to add multiple parameters so if we go to gauge and this time actually just remove them all just by going to gauge x remove all now I'm going to add gauge add rpm and I'm going to put it as a trace now you can only do this with traces and because I want to be able to see the data quite fast I'm going to put it to 100 Hertz so now we can actually see this rpm trace at the bottom if you right click on it now and go make resizable, you can actually drag this across the whole screen and actually display it like so. So when the RPM is changing now, you can actually see the state uh, of the previous data. So if you now hit the space bar, you can actually now go back through that and on your left hand side over here, you'll see the actual data, the, the, the actual parameter value for that given point. So it's nice to be able to scroll back through data. Uh, if you've just done a run on the dyno and want to scroll back through it, you can look at those. Now that we've always been able to do, but now you can actually go and add another item. So for example, if you want to add your manifold pressure into this gauge as well, you go map one and it will add it in there as well. You can then go add another item and let's say add the ECT into this one. Let's say you want to add another one as well, like your cylinder knock variables. So cylinder one knock, you can do that. So if I then press spacebar to unassign it, you can see that some of the, the change default colors, it goes between white and green, but let's easy. We can just go to right click, change color, then choose say the one for ECT. We can change that to a red. And now basically you're able to see all of these parameters live. So I actually have one, a default one for go to gauge and then big gauge. I have one here where I've got the, the values, the numbers displayed in a large normal range. So if you go to size compact, it makes those numbers small. If you go to normal, it makes them larger. So you can actually see the numbers. So if we go to gauge and then big gauge. We can see all of those uh, much larger and easier to see. So as I'm changing the RPM now, I can go through this and I just have the lambda, the fuel multiply correction, the knock values. So I can just press space bar, scroll through it and actually analyze that data as it's happening. You can see the values changing in the top left. So it's a really useful feature now to be able to set up, say, PID strategies, boost control, without having to go to S data, download the data, and then analyze it in the S view program. It can all be done from the main calibration software. So it's a really nice tool.